Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I'm going to explain about uh, emitter follower. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So here, generally this emitter follower is called as CC transistor amplifier. Nothing but common collector transistor amplifier. The input resistance of this emitter follower is very high. There is hundreds of kilo ohms. And coming to this output resistance, it is very low. It is of tens of ohms. And uh, there is no phase shift between input and output in either voltage or current. That is here for the current or voltage, for the input to the output, there is no phase shift. So its voltage gain generally very close to unity. So these are some specification of emitter follower. So here why are calling this CC transistor amplifier as emitter follower? Generally it is called emitter follower because its voltage gain is close to unity. And hence a change in base voltage appears as an equal change across the load at the emitter. That is when there is a change at the base then there will be a change at emitter. So simply we can say that the emitter follows the input signal which is given at the base. So that is why you are calling this one as emitter follower. So its common use is as a buffer stage which performs the function of a resistance transformation. That is the resistance will be changed from high to low over a wide range of frequencies. So this is about that emitter follower and here it is the circuit of the emitter follower instead of taking the output at the collector here we are taking the output across the emitter terminal so when there is a change at the base and there will be a change at the emitter so th this emitter follows the input signal which is given at base terminal of the transistor so this is about that emitter follower thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education